Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have some very quick updates coming from the folks at NVIDIA. So sometime last year, last two years, we did talk about a beautiful tool that would enable artists create amazing backgrounds and beautiful landscape as this was a concepting tool that the folks at NVIDIA had actually crafted and made available. At the time when we were talking about this, this was known as the NVIDIA Gangan and this was in its beta and of course it did come with a lot of things. Now, I'm also going to go ahead and put a link in the description that will bring you over to the beta page and we have some good news coming from them. But before we get into the good news and also some fun stuff that you guys would need to know, let's take a look at what this was at that point. So if you come over to the page, the first things you need to do is to simply click on this checkbox to agree to terms and conditions. Then you would notice that we have a UI that gives you opportunity to start brushing some stuff so depending on the kind of things that you like to make you can go in and start making some brushes so at this point you can say you you know you want to paint some landscapes and you can go in and paint some more stuff and maybe if you want to paint some plants let's say for example bushes we can go in here and we can start painting some bushes as we proceed so at this point this was extremely lovely and once you're done with this the next thing which you can do is just simply hit on this button and automatically the gown gun would generate something this beautiful so you don't need to go in to start taking photographs and all that stuff it will automatically create this thing for you and if you're feeling excited about some other things you can also go over to things like buildings and take a look at some of the buildings that exist and you can choose to paint these things in it even becomes more interesting where you can change the look of this stuff by simply clicking on any of the landscape images that exist right here which will change the mood so let's say you're trying to get a mood like this you can simply click and this mood will be updated and you can also go over and click for something like this and get a corresponding mood that is like this now in most cases if you're also feeling excited about some other stuff and you would like to upload your own images there was also a section that will also allow you to upload segmentation maps landscape maps and also custom style filters now at this point there was no limit to things you could do the only thing was this was running on the browser and you can do lots of things with it now the beta time is done now they're finished with the whole beta stuff and right now this tool now exists as a free desktop app that you can go ahead and download and start working with and it is known as nvidia canvas nvidia canvas uses ai to turn simple brush strokes into realistic landscape images and these by default quickly helps you create beautiful mesmerizing and lovely looking landscape and backgrounds that you can start and uh, use as your basis to start doing some very cool concept now this tool is going to be very useful for landscape artists some set of photographers and probably for those who would like to create some concept prior to going into the computer and start building these things from scratch and of course there's also another cool update that now exists with this one which makes it even very useful for a lot more cases at this point you can export your final product over to photoshop and start working with it and for anyone who would like to download this right now i'm going to put this link in the description that can bring you over to where you will be able to download this so with that said let's dive directly into nvidia canvas and take a look at what this actually looks like so with nvidia canvas open right here you can see that the canvas version of this tool is still in its beta so you can check that out here and the ui looks extremely simple very organized looking so cool and lovely so right here we have all the basic stuff like new open save export all of that stuff and here is where you see the materials which in this time they are more like segmentations that you can use to define several areas it's very interesting to also see that this new update comes with layers so you can add as much layers as you want and you can use these layers to define some stuff the style section deals with a couple of images that you can use to set the style or the mood of what your drawing is going to look like and right over here we have the tools which are pretty pretty nice now i like the fact that we have this brush slider right here which you can use to increase and reduce your brush you can also select this tool and create a simple line which will create a line of whatever thing that you're trying to make so getting started once you select an object so for example we have the simple sky we have here cloud so if we select for example cloud we can go in and paint some clouds so let's just say we're painting some clouds in here and we would like to paint some cloud in here and maybe paint something let's actually make this one a little bit different yeah now once we're done painting this you notice that at this point we don't need to hit any button anymore automatically this just simply generates by itself so we can also go ahead and say maybe we'd like to get some grasses and we can go through select the grasses that we want and we can come over and let's simply select that and we can come over here and start painting in those grasses and you know get some lovely stuff going and you can notice that we have those grasses thing going on there and we can simply proceed to get forest and choose to paint in some forest stuff so at this point i think we're doing this thing wrongly because the whole idea of having layers 
is for you to actually work in layers. So let's just go back and take a look at those grasses one more time. So we can use this layer as our grass layer and simply paint across that. And automatically you notice we have that. If there are sections you would like to clean out, you can select the eraser brush and you can clean out those sections. And that would also update on the fly. Now, if we move over to the third one, this is where I think we need to create something even more cool. And at this point, we have a whole lot of things that we can play with. If you're thinking about playing with things like sand, or probably you're thinking about adding some rocks, of course you can. So we can select that rock right now and we can just go in at this point where we have this other layer. So let's select that rock, make sure that we have this turned on, which is our brush and we can paint in the rocks. Okay. So we can have some rock right there, maybe just connect them and maybe have some more rocks like so. And we can have this one. Let's actually go over there and clean out this. Okay. Has some uh, funny looking edges. So we can also clean that out and then simply complete that right here. So at any point you feel like changing the style of what you have, you can obviously just come through and click and you'd notice that instantaneously we're getting a quick feedback compared to what we used to have with the gun gun. And uh, we can also select these, get another cool update, select these, get another cool update. And you can push this to how much stuff that you like to get. So let's also clean this out and you can see that. Now there is a whole lot of things that you can play with from here. If you're thinking about adding some forest, maybe we can go in and add something else. Maybe add a couple of sands, add some other stuff. So totally dependent on what you like to create. If you like to also add things like water, we also have these going so we can go in there, reduce the brush size and maybe just simply drop some water. So let's go in there and drop some water running down through this part. And you can already start noticing that we have the water thing going right over here. And one thing which I would also love to see is if it is going to be possible to select the segmentation parts and move them. At this point, you cannot actually move these things from one place to another. It's just where it is. I would really love to see that update where we can select any of the segmentations, move them to wherever we would like, and uh, get a quick update on those. Add a stone wall right about a point like that. Okay, so that looks good. And uh, maybe we can actually make that feel like it is like so. So we can have that stone wall there and we can also do something like this. Okay, so maybe we can change how the dynamics of this actually looks. Cool. And we can have that going. So this is more like it. For those who like to, you know, go through and check this thing out, probably you like to test it. I'm going to put a link in the description that can bring you right over here where you will be able to grab this and start working with it. And for anyone who like to export this thing out, you can click on the export button and export this as a PSD file, which you can in turn import into Photoshop and start doing some very, very lovely stuff. Some things which I would like to see is uh, maybe some opacity maps. I would really love to see opacity maps come over to this. Yes, of course, I know this isn't going to be Photoshop, but if we can have some of these tools, it might actually be pretty cool to work with. I would also love to see some other things like um, tools for transforming those objects. So in case you would like to move one part from just maybe from the base all the way up, simply move things around. I think that might also come in extremely, extremely handy. So tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. For those who like to download this, I'm going to put a link in the description that will bring you right over here where you would be able to download this tool and start working with it. For those who would like to also see the previous version, which is known as the NVIDIA Galgan, this is also going to be available so that you can also do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with your tutorial updates, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.